Wiz, is it quite nice for you guys to be up here, kind of away from, from the hustle and bustle of, of Auckland and just in your own wee spot up here? Yeah, it's been fantastic, to be honest. The girls have just relaxed a little bit and we've got you know, a bit of ocean to get into instead of swimming pools for recovery and that sort of stuff. So there's been a, a definite change in the demeanour of the players, which is great. Um, but we're also aware that that could be a trap, so uh, we're making sure their trainings are still intense, etc. Yeah, I was going to say, how do you avoid it becoming a trap and you know, falling into that false sense of being in, the, in a holiday spot almost? Um, well, there's a few things. Like our review was pretty intense yesterday. Um, I remember thinking at one point, we're almost reviewing it like it was a loss, to be fair. Um, and then, of course, the, you know, the training intensity. So it was, it, was a, it was a tough training today. It was fast. And um, it'd be fair to say the coaches put a little bit of acid on. Do you guys benefit from playing a team you've already faced in pool play? Or can there be added, I suppose, complexities around facing the same team again? Um, oh, look, I think, I think you can overthink that sort of stuff. I'm, I'm thankful we're playing a Northern Hemisphere team. So we're going to get some malls. We're going to get some good scrums. Um, where they challenged us last time, so it's good for us to, to see that. I haven't really thought about anything further than that, to be honest. Was this the most remote place you've ever had a, a rugby week build up week? Um, yeah, I think so. Probably, probably is actually. I can't think of one. Uh, yeah, um, probably. Yeah. You mentioned the players kind of taking a breath and a change of demeanour. Does the same go for the coaches? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for laughing so loud, but. Um, <laughs> Uh, it's been pretty intense today. I mean, look, we've got a quarter final coming up. There's, um, you know, it's, I, su I suppose some coaches would call it a banana, a banana peel game or something like that is the phrase that often gets thrown around. So, you know, we're on the job. Um, it's great to see the players relax, have some time off yesterday, um, you know, uh, recover really well after a tough game. Um, but certainly from a coaching perspective, no. You mentioned as well the Welsh, the Morling. We did see a couple of times they managed to dominate you in that pool place. So how much work has been done to address that and how confident are you that you've managed to in the intervening couple of weeks? You know, we've, we've done a good job last week, I thought, initially. And um, I think the backs are at the hotel at the moment and the forwards are still at the field. So probably answers your question. Whereas you obviously expected to beat Wales, given the sort of difference between the top teams and the rest of this competition, but how do you avoid against that complacency given that you, you only beat them just a couple of weeks ago as well? Well look, we've got a, we've got a big um, target at the end, don't we? So we're working towards something different. Sorry, news up. Um, we're, working, we're working towards a different target um, and we've got our own standards to uphold. So like I said before, you know, from an, I don't know what it looks like from an outside perspective. We're in a bubble here, but um, like we reviewed yesterday as if, it were, as if we'd lost that game. So. There's a lot of stuff that weren't up to our standards, so that's, what we're, that's what's driving us. And you, you, you said a bit earlier there about the intensity of you know, the, the six-week bubble, a different bubble to last year, of course. Yeah. Um, how are you finding this whole experience? You know, I mean, coming out here is obviously great, but as, as the whole tournament's gone on, like, are you enjoying it at all, or is it quite stressful? Mate, it's, it's been magical, to be honest. Like, I've, like, I keep saying this, it sounds terrible. I've been in the in women's game for a long time, and Someone told me last week it was my 40th game, and I suppose it made me reflect a little bit more than usual. And like Whangarei was just magical. Like when I got to the coach's box and saw the crowd there, it was really special. It's something that I probably never thought I'd be involved with 20 years ago when I first started in the women's game. So it's, it's been magical. It's the only word I'd use. And I think for us, it's, it's great to have family close by. So you mentioned the end of year tour. That was a, a tough time in a bubble as well, and we had no family interaction. Whereas at the moment, the players ourselves are getting a chance to catch up with family, refresh their minds again. So it's been really special. And there's, a, I was say, there's a certain schedule clash on Saturday night. Is there? Who should, <laughs> who should people watch the All Blacks or All Blacks? <laughs> um, I think it's going to be great at the stadium. I think that I'm hoping that the locals will all come to Whangarei Stadium. And if you're at home, you're probably going to have to make a decision which one to watch on delay, to be honest. But look, we are conscious of the fact that we're trying to play an expansive, attractive game that's going to pull people into the women's game. So that's what you'll see if you pick us. Are you ever disappointed with the schedule clash? I guess it's just rugby's. Right. We can overthink a lot of things. At the moment, we've got to win some rugby games. Uh, we've got some opponents coming up that we're looking slightly towards. We've got to get our own standards going as well as we can first. So that's, that's where we're at. It's a boring answer, I know, sorry, but that's, that's genuinely where we're at. Well, is it hard to not look too far forward in that regard? Like You kind of touched on the complacency and avoiding that with Wales, but I imagine it is difficult to not sit there and go, OK, but then mm, look, maybe France the week after, that sort of thing. 
someone asked me last week, did I watch the French game? And I had, but we're keeping an eye on it, but we haven't analysed those oppositions yet. There's no point, um, as far as we're concerned. We're one game at a time, so that's been our approach, I suppose. And we'll find out next, uh, you know, Saturday night who we've got next and work hard at that, at that point. It's, I know they're boring answers, but that's literally how we're doing things. We're going one game at a time, and... I mean, you know, some really good teams have lost quarterfinals before, so we, we don't want to be one of them. And just when you were touching on the review and stuff, and, and you say you're treating it like a loss, what were those kind of key areas for you where the team weren't up to standard? Well, um, firstly, our penalty count's still too high, so we made some big strides in that, but um, that's still too high, so that was one of them. <laughs> Attacking-wise, um, you know, we scored a lot of tries, but Smithy was not happy with some of the opportunities we lost, so... We're trying to be more efficient, um, not having to work so hard to get some of those tries. Um, and then defensively, uh, you know, they, we're probably, we were on defence for longer periods than we needed to be in the second half, so just trying to make sure we shorten those up as well. Is Kennedy Simon playing this weekend? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you'll have to wait for the media release made on that one. But she's trained uh, very well and she's looking very healthy. Now, look, our, our management team, our medical team have done a fantastic job. Um, we've got a full squad to select from. The players are in great nick. And, and look, we've had some injuries coming in earlier, but they all seem to be coming good now. And you know, the medical team's done a great job. They really need to be applauded for that.